And hello everyone, and let's begin. Alright, now, this is not a full review, nor is it anything other than particularly just showing off a unit I like. Now, before this, I was having still to do a fair amount of work to just precisely kill this damn boss time and time again. But a wonderful thing happened, and that was Lunara Seven Star. How great is Lunara Seven Star? Well, she can be used in almost any mode you want, but in particular, she's just fantastic uh, in this mode. With this, with Lunara, you can basically say goodbye to bosses easily without the use of debuffs. Although you could use debuffs. But why use debuffs? It's not like we actually need them. So here is a very short little demonstration of what Lunara can actually do. Because a lot of people have already started to be like, Oh, well, she's not that good. And I disagree. I respectfully disagree. Actually, I a little bit less than respectfully disagree. Because I think she's actually pretty damn amazing. I think she's fantastic. Look, let's do something a little bit more extreme, shall we? Let's do this. And... While we're at it, let's do this. Done. Not a problem. As a matter of fact, it might have been overkill. It might have been over to the power of 10 kill. The point is, is that Runera is very, 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 very damn strong, as we did a total of 54 million to the raid boss. Yes, we did 54 million. Feels, feels pretty good. But let's actually go. And yes, I am running low on raid time, but it's okay. I only have one orb in 55 minutes. I'm pretty sure that I'll be back in time for it. Let's go on a very slow walk, shall we? Now, Runera actually has a few other abilities that are particularly good, but in particular, 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 I absolutely love her as a support and a chaining unit. And we're going to see that right now. Against our good friend, the training dummy. First of all, we're going to just simply hit him really, really, really hard. With three units. That's it. These three. Although, you now, the chain isn't properly doing it because, quite frankly, the uh, Nox just hates me so much. But... Basically, Lorraine has actually the same frames as Runera's, and that's pretty awesome. If only it would actually work properly. Now, here's the ability I really like. This one, this 150 MP. First of all, let's take a look at our units. First of all, we have Runera with a 1200. We have Squall with 1555. 791 for Lauren, 1126 for the other, and Renault is at 1500. Pretty good. Now we have a slight increase. Let's take a look. 1538 for one Lunara, 19, over 1900 attack for Squall, over a thousand for Lauren, and Lauren's not even properly equipped. 1400 for the other Lunara, and 1842 for Renoa. Not bad, I hear you say. Well, yes, absolutely not bad. 
See, it's dropping the chain because it's being Nox is being stupid. Now we can actually start getting ready for our big turn. Let's demo this, shall we? First of all, Lauren will use her Limit Break, which will absolutely just give us a little bit of extra wind resistance that we can use. Meanwhile, we'll use our two Runeras just to have some fun, and hopefully give Squall enough to get his Limit Burst. By the way, there's our damage. And now, here comes the big one. So, we are going to not use Lauren because it's, it's making us drop our chains, I'm pretty sure. And really, I just want to demo my team with their new chainer. So, we pick three apocalypses. We make Squall do, get ready his limit burst. And we give Renoa an hour to cast. And now we should be pretty safe to hit. And Lauren can just say here. Now, of course, there's a long interval there, but our total damage Without Lauren is 57 million. Not bad. Just a little shy under my record currently. And keep in mind, let's take a look at our units that we use. First of all, not optimized. Definitely better than she could be, but the materia is particularly weak because I've given everything to Renoa. And the other thing is that both of my two units here are actually under their level 120. Once they get to 120, they'll get an extra 70% boost to magic and a 220% boost to their the attacks that they are using. Why is that so difficult to say? Anyway, not to mention that Squall can actually be better if I got some damn true dual hands. Thank you very much, gotcha system. And Lauren, well, Lauren could probably be better equipped too. So let's try one more time to close out with a different approach. First of all, we're going to do this, this, and wait for it, wait for it. There it is. Go, Renoa. And Squall. Urgh. Overall, not bad for a couple of for a team that isn't all there quite yet. In general, I have to say that Lunara is actually quite a fantastic unit, but again it does actually require you to kind of have two seven stars for, you know, minor detail. But anyway, it is really, really fantastic. I absolutely love her, and I look forward, her, forward to showing her off a little bit better once I have both of them at level 120, but I just couldn't wait to show you what I've already been doing. The future is exciting, especially when December 11th hits and we finally can use Dragoons. Can you say jump damage? It's gonna be fun to chain that in. All right, so I will see you all next time. Till then, have a good one.